Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. Simone from Tested. Simone, you brought a really cool product in to show me earlier this week. Yeah. This is, well, it looks like a big battery. There's no way around it. It is a big battery. It's a big battery. I mean, it's a good looking battery. Lithium ion. And this is like, I just keep on waiting for that revolutionary battery to hit where it just blows our minds. And we're like, you remember that time you had to charge your phone once a day? This might not be it, but it's still a pretty sweet product and a good improvement. It's called The River. Yeah. And the company that makes it is EcoFlow. I can't take that name seriously. It just sounds like a tampon company to me, but. EcoFlow. EcoFlow, yeah. Flow like the river. I think they mean flowing power is probably what they mean. Mm -hmm. Good intentions. Um, and the engineers behind it, I think, worked previously at DJI. Yes, they did. Yeah. So it was a team of engineers that broke out to make this product and they're on Indiegogo now. Ah, very cool. Um, so it's like a stack of lithium ion batteries. There's a cooling system inside and just a ton of ports. Is it just to charge your phones? What, 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 are, what do people charge? With I feel like camping that like you, you can because it has a bunch of different uh, ports. It's not just USB. You can also plug in an AC power. Yeah. And some really cool. I think I think that's pretty cool. You can charge it with your car. So I think like camping or if you're out like if we were out shooting and we're out in the field and we needed to charge whatever cameras we would charge cameras. Yeah, yeah. cameras, GoPros, even lights. Drones if we're shooting with you. Totally. Yeah. Um, and so we want to put this to the test now. Spec wise, it's like over. 100,000 milliamp hours. I think capacity is like 412, 413 watt hours. Um, and it, I always thought it was watts. Watts? Watt <laughs> hours? I thought it would watt? be. I thought it was just me being a forward nerd. What are you like, talking yeah, I about, Simone? I was, like, <laughs> I was like, how many watts is this? And the Americans laughed. Watts. Watts. It's watts. Watts. Uh, and it's it can take uh, 500 watt load between its AC and DC. So there are two DC 12 volt outputs here, a bunch of USB, as you mentioned, even USB-C. I don't know, I don't even have that many USB-C devices. I don't think I have anything that's USB-C. I mean, maybe that's their projection for the future yeah. where they're like, this is what people are gonna wanna have. Yeah, right. it's two USB-C, yeah. Android phone or uh, the new MacBook, the small MacBook is USB-C. Yeah, I, I wonder, I mean, that would be an interesting because that's like how a lot of these products like because you want a product that has the type of outlets that you want and the yeah. amount that you want like I mean and, and this has a, as a specific amount but that would be something I'd be like I want like 14 AC outlets that's what I want else. exactly yeah. yeah but it does have two AC outs um, I just pressed the power there so maybe oh, there it goes Beep, beep, beep. That's a cool display. I really like this display. And like overall, the design of the products, like it looks really nice. It feels really well built. I trust that this is not going to explode or like put itself on fire. Well, it hasn't exploded yet for us. No. Yeah. So we're going to test this AC power. There's actually a separate button in the back that says you press to hold that. Beeps again. And now it says it's on AC. Now, things I'm going to care about, for example, can I run a gaming laptop? VR gaming on this. So I'm going to plug this. Because Norm goes camping, because I go camping to yeah. play with VR. <laughs> it's so true. It's last. You're like we're out in nature. No, I just want to immerse myself. It's so true. In VR. All right, let's see. I got it plugged in. Ooh, my laptop immediately went um, brighter. Um, I'm gonna plug additional things so in. So it's at 50 watts. Watts. 50 watts. All right, that's not so bad. Let's see if I plug in an additional um, USB in here. All right. Not bad. 62. Increasing a little bit. How about I put in a VR headset oh, in yeah. here? Um, there it goes. 72, 108. It just jumped to 108. Second display, VR headset. And so what I really like about this is that it feels educational because I have no perception of how much current different things draw. Mm -hmm. And here it's like, oh, you have a number. I can really see it jump up when you plugged in the VR headset. Yeah, and then when I launch a game, that's probably gonna jump up. This actually, mm -hmm. this power supply, it goes up to 230 watts draw. So we know it's not gonna max out the load of, um, of the river. Now, the other thing I wanted to see is whether you could charge like a, uh, one of the Segways. So uh, I have my Segway All off screen. Simone, things. can we grab my Segway? I'm gonna grab your Segway. Yes. Oh wow, this thing is heavy. It has its own giant lithium ion battery uh, I'm gonna inside. break my back. Maybe we'll need the power cord. No, we're taking the full, the full Segway. Here we go. Uh, do we have an insurance for this thing? 
Does it stand balance? Yeah. Wow! There it goes, it's charging. It's charging. Okay, what are we at? We are at, how many what? 177. Okay. Oh, not bad. So if we, I mean, now you're taking all the AC ports. I feel like this is the thing that you might run into, because like, I want to plug in these things, like USB, like phone. Yeah, you want more, you want all AC. You want like I eight want AC. AC. Um, yeah. But these are the things that, I know, let's put that like down. Like all right, right I'm gonna unplug, face. unplug that. We know it can charge your boosted board, your Segway, your one wheel. That's oh. not gonna be a problem. It can definitely run a gaming laptop, not a problem. But whoa, what's what that? What about an air compressor? <laughs> This sounds like something you would want to use with. Yeah, you know what? Okay. I just bought an air compressor for my house. I'm really excited about it because, like, I don't think my neighbors are that excited about it because the one I have is a lot louder than this one. But um, it's really nice because I want to get into air pistons and, like, solenoids mm. so you can have uh, motors that are actuated by air because then you get a lot of force in a short yeah. amount of time. Okay, what what's the PSI? It's a 25. All right, let's plug this one in. And... Flip it on. Ah. How quiet is this? I wish I got in this one instead. It's cleaning itself. Its own power. <laughs> that air smells bad. All right, what's it drawing? 242. Not uh, bad. How many could it do on the AC? 300. 300, so we could plug in a drill too? Uh, I don't know, let's try it. Let's try let's it. Let's try it? All right. Yeah, I want to see what happens if we overload it. All right. Move this aside, and I'm plugging it in. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there it goes. All right. Yep, max it out. 309 thing? watts. That maxed it out. Uh, but unplug the drill and turn off the air compressor. All right. I think because the air compressor is going to draw more and more current. Yeah. Yeah. But you could run basically an air compressor, a pretty sizable one, or you can uh, go, you know, wood woodworking out when you're camping. All right, all right. Sorry, Simone. There you go. There you go. So that's the river. Uh, they have an Indiegogo, like Simone mentioned, uh, right now campaign. Uh, this is just a prototype they sent us. Uh, they're charging, what, $460 yeah, the for this? Bird one. For the early bird one. And it goes up. Retail price? Is $700, yeah. which I think is a little pricey. But if you need to if you go camping or if you need a high voltage battery mm -hmm. and uh, with a lot of capacity on the go, then you know, this may be something worth it for you. Yeah, just wondering how broad the audience for it is. Cause yeah. it does feel like, I mean, for, for some people, this might be the product and they're gonna be really happy about mm -hmm. it. But then it's also like, I mean, it's a lot of money to do, to, to put out on something that you're like, mm, I might kind of use it, so. Yeah. Let's all wait for that big jump in battery technology. Yeah, I just want yeah. it. Like yeah. seriously, it's uh, 2017. Scientists work harder. Get on it. But this is what we got. Thanks to River for sending it, and we'll see you next time. Bye.